Hello and welcome to my first 3D Studio Max tutorial. Um, in today's lesson, we'll be creating a tap, um, uh, something similar to this. This is uh, something I worked on a few days ago and uh, I decided I'll make a tutorial based on this. All these were done using the 3D Studio Max presets and uh, the only thing that I created from scratch uh, in terms of material was the water. Now I'll uh, be taking you through the steps to creating this first of all. Uh, let's get started. Um, open up 3D Max, go to create. Uh, select box and drag it out. The size don't really matter at this moment in time. Maximize that. Uh, go to your modifier panel and uh, select edit poly click on the polygons and then uh, click any side you like and uh, we'll start modeling now i'll go to inset click on the settings drag click and drag up um, say apply and then say okay i uh, will right click here select aged faces so we can see what we're doing a bit more uh, once you've done that click on the extrude settings once again drag it out click apply four times and say ok so your drawing should look something like this uh, go back and um, select the top polygon inset again click apply and say ok and then we'll extrude that inset one more time and extrude it down by uh, just clicking it and dragging if you can't see what you're doing anymore just go to um, to the top here and there uh, we're gonna inset that again about there it's all right and then we'll extrude that using the settings just drag it up till you see it pop up and that's all right now um, get your select uh, get your your scale to and just scale it down so it forms a triangular kind of shape and then we'll inset that again uh, maybe two and then uh, extrude it down and that's all right so far we've managed to create the the handle and now we'll be creating the front uh, go to the polygon again and uh, inset one more time just drag it up a little bit apply and then uh, extrude out drag it out and uh, apply a couple of times until it's a little bit longer than uh, the support for the handle and then click OK so if we just maximize that for one second um, click on basically rotate it slightly and click on the bottom face and uh, we're gonna inset that again we're doing quite a lot of that right now say apply and then just uh, extrude um, once you've extruded it just take your scale to and make it small a little bit and then inset that again reduce the size a little bit and then extrude it inwards so take it down and then press delete to create a hole now we've pretty much created the basis of our tap I've made it a little bit shorter on this side so I'll just go back to uh, to the top here um, I'll use my vertices and I'm gonna drag out the front a little bit more just drag it out something like that it's okay now we're gonna create the top part of it um, 
once more we are going to to insert it and then click apply apply a couple of times and then extrude outwards click apply twice and then insert it again and then extrude it inwards once that's done uh, our tap is almost complete now to create the the top part just that uh, go on to the the top view and click in that little box um, and insert it slightly just a little bit this time now we're going to drag it right back up the whole pipe um, the whole tap will be made um, from one piece so just drag that out and then click apply that's okay once that's done actually that's a bit too high just reduce it a little bit a bit more and then go back to um, if your polygon still selected we we'll just go to this view here left or front and just drag a line like that and come back to your view and select uh, we're gonna select the extrude now when it's by group it's gonna drag it out say by polygon reduce it a little bit and say apply uh, maybe twice that looks okay um, the size this is a little bit larger than that one but for the purpose of this tutorial uh, we'll carry on with it in this way for now um, now we're going to bevel slightly just to give it a rounded curve at the end so say apply and okay and then we'll extrude it a little bit more and I think that's okay now that's pretty much our tap uh, complete now to add on the finishing touch just go to mesh smooth uh, looks a bit sketchy but if you increase your iterations to maybe two or three then it looks uh, much clearer so that's your tap complete now to add the other side just go to the modifier panel and add the symmetry modifier um, it depends on how you made it but you might want to play around with uh, these a little bit and if it still doesn't work then um, just go onto the symmetry uh, area and select mirror and then drag it out or in by doing so you reveal um, the tap in full so that's about all right now there we go that's the tap we've just created from a, a simple box and then uh, to add on the pipe or the tube behind it I'm just gonna quickly use a, a line tool I'll just sketch that out quite quickly as time is running out then I just drag that down like that then I'm gonna add on a sweep modifier um, if I come back to this view that's how it's looking like so far and then uh, select cylinder and increase the radius until it fits in with uh, the actual tap that's a bit flat now. so let's drag this over and uh, that's pretty much it you can play around with um, applying maybe a smooth modifier 
on the tap and uh, dragging it down up depending on how you wanna finish off your um, your model and they can continue it from there if you don't want to create the top part that's also up to you you can just uh, leave it basic and add something from below but for today this is what we've created um, and soon I'm gonna aim towards finishing the overall scene rendering um, adding materials and lighting all right thanks for today all right bye